There is no way that you could have been as bad at hockey as you are at golf. All right, let's go. You like that, old man? Adam Sandler is returning to familiar territory after a critical failure resulted in a 50% Rotten Tomato score. Join us on Screen Rant as we take a look at why a Happy Gilmore sequel is coming at the perfect time. Following a 50% rotten score for his film Spaceman, Adam Sandler is pulling out all the stops by revisiting a character that helped make him one of Hollywood's most bankable actors. Fans have long wanted a follow-up to Happy Gilmore. The 1996 film about an erratic hockey player who turned to professional golf to help save his grandmother's home was a cult classic that achieved an 85% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Prior to Spaceman failing with the critics, Sandler had been winning them over. With an impressive 91% tomato meter for You're So Not Invited to My Bat Mitzvah, and an 82% score for Leo. It wasn't Sandler's performance in Spaceman that was panned, but with his status and leading role in the movie, it's tough to separate from the negative stink from the film. You should rest, skinny human. Tomorrow. We enter the beginning. Thus, a return to Happy Gilmore could remedy this rotten fall from grace. Sandler spoke about the development on The Dan Patrick Show, where he claimed, We just gotta make it a movie and make sure we're excited about people enjoying it. It's important. We love Happy. We don't want to let anybody down. People have talked about this for many years. We're gonna work hard to make sure it's good. Sandler isn't shying away from the pressure of bringing back the beloved character. In order to do it the right way, he understands that it's gonna have to resonate with the audience and not be on this and while he might not be able to please the critics his fans will be the ones who decide the ultimate success of happy gilmore's next chapter we'll be here with all the updates on sandler's progress on screen rant